All right. Hey, 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 hey. Um, well, you need to uh, forgive us. Um, there was there's this technical itch here. This um, morning, don't know exactly what is going on with technology. It's good and bad at the same time, so we take it as it comes, right? Uh, just give yourself a minute or two, I'm with you. I know um, some of you might be wondering, um, hey, where is Pastor? What's going on? Well, I'm right here with you, okay? I'm right here with you trying to um, just get this technical um, technology work the way it's supposed to be working. In the meantime, um, just um, love somebody uh, by tagging a friend or two. Invite them, let them know that it's time for the word um, with fit moment, okay? And uh, share the broadcast with somebody to uh, be a blessing. All right, so give yourself a minute, a minute or two, and uh, we'll get to uh, the word of God to bless you this morning. Okay, let's see where we are. Let's see where we are. All right, all right, all right. Blessings of the Lord be upon you. It is well with you and your house. It is well with you and your house. I declare that into your life in Jesus' name. It is well. Come on, say to yourself, it is well with me and my house. It is well. All right, let's get to the word. Let's get to prayer. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for this blessed day you have given unto us. This is the day, Lord, you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I pray for this, your precious ones, under the sound of my voice, wherever they are. I pray that revelation knowledge will flow freely. Let understanding increase and abound in their lives. And may we come into the saving knowledge of our freedom in you, Christ Jesus. This we pray. Satan, take your dirty hands of God's people. We are released out of bondage into our freedom. And I declare you free in Jesus' mighty name. If you believe that, say amen. All right. Let me um, just acknowledge some of you. Barbara Scott. Saha, beautiful lavender. Uh, I might have missed some of you. Let me see. Kojo, K O J O, Opal, Petrina. Um, well, blessings, blessings, blessings. Well, we were having um, a little uh, technical itch with this uh, technology here. You know, when you, anytime you're trying to expand, there's always this. Uh, fight that you got to put on to get things done and so it's it's uh it's been worked on so i'm only using the um um uh, just the facebook i'm sorry for those on the other other side of um the media block uh you and you are missing it because um they're still working some things out to link to link um everybody together and so, uh, blessings upon you, those of you who are only on Facebook today. Only on Facebook. Well, hopefully it will be shared later on to those on the other, plat um, other platforms as well. All right? So let me um, again acknowledge all of you. But you can, whilst you are sharing this, please let your loved ones know that um, um, if they are not seeing... Uh, me on the other social medias, uh, media like the, the YouTube, the Periscope, the Twitter, uh, and all that, the, um, uh, the website, um, through the website account, they can only come here because it's happening here alone due to um, some technical connections that it's not allowing the, uh, uh, the synchronage. Okay, but it cannot stop us from bringing the word and teaching the word of God. Amen. And so uh, let me um, please um, um, see your acknowledgments and, and all the good stuff for me to know that um, you are also good in um, getting all this um, straight to you. All right. Let me see the thumbs up, uh, the, um, the hellos, the smiles and all that good stuff. 
okay all right um if you are with me i hope you are still you can hear me i hope you can see me or hear me because i okay all right lavanda god bless you god bless you bless you dear all right with that said and done let's hit the road running come with me if you have your bibles i trust that you have your bibles with you not only being coming to listen but you also have your notepads and pens and pencils to take some good notes for your development and increase okay the purpose of um, again coming on this uh, social media is uh, i personally believe um that it, the time has come for christians to send this gospel through the ends of the world through this media and so if you are listening to me and you believe truly believe that you are christian don't just be on the social media watching unnecessary things but use it as a platform as a tool to share the gospel of jesus christ which is the salvation gospel of jesus christ all right because if you say that you are a believer and a follower of christ and you have been redeemed have a full and and um, complete understanding of your salvation through christ jesus beloved you don't stop right there you have an assignment to also take the gospel to the ends of the earth a lot of people have not heard it and so and so the spirit of religion is lying to them you know causing them to be so angry with other people who do not ascribe to what they believe and uh, they see everybody else as an infidel and therefore they are to destroy and kill and beloved is happening and you realize if you've been following uh, what is happening um, all across the globe now Christians have come under so much attack okay by some on you know unbelievers are you listening they have come on so much attack and if you if you don't want to do it if you do not want to do this what Jesus says we should do maybe it hasn't come to your your doorstep yet so you don't see and you don't feel and know the magnitude of how bad it is I pray it does not get to your doorstep most of the time we play with things until it gets to our doorstep it it hits home and then we become serious about it but beloved it's spreading it's spreading i mean the the this the the, the information that is coming you know concerning the attacks on christians it's 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 bad it's really really bad and if all christians want to do is to be comfortable and sitting in you know in the uh, church in the, the buildings and uh, playing church and thinking that is just god and all and you 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 yeah, I, honestly i've come to the place where it's like are, are we for real are really are, are we for real talking about christianity only preaching to christians and christians getting all this message and all the time we're getting the same thing and pe other people who have not had the true word of god are believing wrong and they're acting wrong guess what against you christians and so if you do not want to take this gospel you don't it, 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 it doesn't even fancy me anymore with this church church business you don't even fancy me it, it does not. I'm serious. It's like I, I, I feel like I don't even want to go to church, that building called church. But rather just because people are not hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ for their true gospel of salvation. And therefore they are believing some other beliefs and they are using whatever they believe by believing wrong to destroy you who have believed right. We are all about some conferences, some programs, some whatever that makes you look, feel good and, and all that. And the same people, same people, every time, same people. 
Yet the majority of the people who are destroying are those who have not heard that which you know. And you who have come to know the true saving gospel of Jesus Christ, you are not sending this message to the end of the earth as Jesus commanded you and I. As Jesus commanded you and I, you are not doing it. It's, it's, it's become just enough for you to sit, you know, sit in, on, on, in, in some confined building, put on your, the, the, the clothes you don't even wear during the course of the day, but only on Sundays. As though you are, you, you, know, you think it's, it's, Christianity is about impressing yourselves? I don't know, wrong, listen, Wrong teachings and wrong believings huh? is getting Christians to be to be living wrong. Because anybody who can tell me who, other than what Jesus has said, take, go into all nations and make disciples. If anybody can tell me that is not just what we're supposed to do, that person is supposed to be stoned. Because obviously one they are reading the Bible upside down and or not understanding what Jesus said. And since you all don't even believe that you are a disciple of Jesus Christ, now, your salvation is through Jesus. By the way, your salvation is through Jesus, not through the law for which was lived before Jesus came. Your salvation is through the law. Is that what it is? No. Your salvation is through Jesus Christ. And so now that through Jesus you have been saved. Saved from what? From your sins. From the ignorance of what you didn't know. You are now to take that which you have come to know to the end of the world. And that is what Jesus said. And Christians are not doing it. And you, you are, you, we are getting all these, all these stories, all this information, not even stories, but listen, this is live. Live happening to, I think Sri Lanka, was it Sri Lanka in this past, um, 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 couple of weeks ago when uh, we celebrated the resurrection mem uh, remembrance of the resurrection of Jesus church in Sri Lanka church Christian church you see what happened there sit in your on your tukwish in that buildings you call the places church including where I preach myself and don't take this gospel out when it hits your doorstep you will understand you will understand. Listen, I don't care, give who nothing. If by end of me finish teaching this, it's only one eye view that I see. I don't give a who that, because that's not what pays me. That's not what puts money on my in my pocket or put food on my table. So I'm not looking for thousand views to make me look. Do I, do I look stupid? Let people, let, let them fool you with names and don't do what Jesus has asked you to do. By the end of the day, you're going to be asked a question and whether all these eh, people you follow and you, you admire or you, you, you've made them God, whether they'll be standing next to you to give an account with you. You better think. You better think. 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 It's, 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 I mean, just imagine that since 2000 till now, over 250,000 Christians have been killed. Because of 
persons who have not received the gospel of Jesus Christ concerning their salvation, but have received other gospels and believe that Christians are the enemies. Oh, because you heard it, it happened in Sri Lanka. It happened in Nigeria. It happened in some other countries and it has not hit your home yet. Keep living. If you don't, you think this is funny, keep living. I don't pray that you experience. I don't pray that. But I pray that the time you have, get serious. The time you have. The time you have, get serious. Beloved, the whole gospel is about the salvation of man. It's not centered on you. The gospel of Jesus Christ, it's not centered on you. It's centered on Jesus Christ. And the purpose for which he came to save humanity from their sins and the way they think. If people are still thinking that Christians are infidels and therefore you need to kill all Christians and if you think you are a Christian and you, it, you, you are not going to do what Jesus says you should do. But rather sit on your tukash in some confined air-conditioned building. And thinking that's what Christianity is. Keep living. Keep living. I, I never call myself a prophet. Oh, that, that foolishness. I don't play that. But I have been saying this thing for more than 20 years. That when God speaks, I hear. There are times that I have not been obedient to his word. I'm not going to sit down here and, and play some holy and thou present to you. I have not. Several times. But I have come to the place of maturity to know that when he speaks, he means business. And I keep hearing and hearing and it's bubbling in my spirit like never before. Let the people know they must get up and get serious. It will hit your doorstep one of these days. Then you will believe. Because you are so comfortable in following an image with all kinds of antiques, all kinds of, of facial dressings, and thinking, thinking that that is what Christianity is about. Beloved, you haven't scratched the back of it yet. You have not. My prayer again is that it does not come to hit your doorstep. My prayer is that it doesn't come to hit your doorstep below, because you know why? Those who are destroying and killing Christians right now studies shows that they have outnumbered Christians. They have outnumbered Christians. And uh, this idea of, oh, God would do it. Oh, God is protecting us. Are you telling me that those people in Sri Lanka, you better than them? 
Is that what you think? Or is that what your pastor is telling you? Those in Nigeria and in other places that Christians are being killed, the church buildings have been burned. One of these days when you get up in the morning with your righteous self, religious yourself, and you will get to that church, that building called you call church. And when you get there and they have come to destroy the place, you will start thinking. But why do you want to wait? Because they are listen. <laughs> it's some easy to destroy. It's very easy to destroy. And if a people all they think is to plan think to destroy then i want you to know that you who call yourself a christian and have an assignment to go and make disciples and you are not doing it they will do your work for you by destroying you i listen i i deception when i hear people you know, God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. <laughs> and, and, and God is showing you what you should do. But you are not doing it. You know what, you know what it is? You are a lazy bum. You are a lazy bum. Listen, I... I didn't listen. I don't come and sit on here for you to call me daddy and all those things. For for you think you you think I'm a fool? I'm gonna give it to you the way it is. Because tough love, I have come to realize tough love is better than sugar coating. Tough love is better than sugar coating. For God so loved the world. You think God didn't have a tough love seeing his son Jesus, his only begotten son, sitting there and watching his son being beaten, spit up, slapped left, right, center, nailed, have a, pee, a spear, Hit on his side. Blood gushing out left, right. Some of you can't even watch this movie that um, uh, Mel Gibson made about what's, uh, what the passion of Christ. Some of you can't even look at it. Imagine yourself if you were there. You can't even look at that movie. Beloved, Christianity is not bread and butter. And have, you know, sitting in your confines and this stupid idea of you know, we, we, it's, we have to be prosperous and all that. Your prosperity is in making disciples. Jesus says, go and make disciples. Hello, Sogi, bless you. Petrina, bless you. Listen, go and make disciples. And this is what I keep telling you, that I personally believe that this social media was created for Christians, but people, you Christians haven't gotten it yet. And the agents and the children of religion are using it to destroy. And you have to use it to make good. But you are not doing it. You have come to believe all kinds of belief. All kinds of belief. You are spending more. I mean, there's more time on unnecessary stuff than just. I mean, I, I, I watch people and it's like. You know, I, I was talking to some. The other day, and I'm, I'm saying, you know, I, 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 I really don't care about anybody and what they are doing. 
I am only concerned if the people understand what they are doing. I'm only concerned if the people understand what they are doing. We all go, everybody's going here. Well, let me take this church for example. Sunday, we all go in there. We have heard this gospel, we have heard all kinds of teachings and all kinds of preachings. But beloved, I have come to realize that after all that, if there's no implementation, you've wasted your time. And if you think it's only about you and your house, you have been taught wrong. And if you are not doing what Jesus says, for you to go and make disciples. Now, you ought to have already received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, as you claim. That you are born again. You speak in tongues. You shindabite and hikaba. And all that. Take all that to go and make disciples. It's not enough anymore to just stay in that same place. I mean, yesterday I received um, um, a, a video from um, one of my pastor friends in Paris, France. And was, the video was a television interview with a Muslim and how he's talking saying that um, um, the president of France has lost control over how the Muslims and other religious you know people have taken are taking control against Christians He's lost control. And he, being a Muslim, cannot even walk in some areas of this fundamentalist. He, being a Muslim. So his warning was for Christians. Listen to this. Oh. I wish I can just show it to you. His warning was for, for Christians to rise up if not, they will lose their position. I, I, I listened to it and, and I was, I, I mean, so much was going through my mind. And this is what I've been advocating. This is what I've been, it's like, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men. How do you lift Jesus up? Oh, you're, you were taught that when you see him physically and you lift him up, eh? like some of the, the, some of the people, I mean, personalities that you lift them up. Beloved, present Jesus. Present Jesus. Some of you, you may not be as courageous to sit behind this camera like I'm doing now and teach or preach the gospel. You know what? J just, just get a scripture of salvation. Okay? Put it on a placard and, and go on demonstration. Just, go, just There are so many ways to get the name of Jesus and what he has done for humanity and mankind. Out there, there's so many ways. So many ways. Some of you put it on your car. Some of you, I mean, beloved, the the sun. I mean, 
the, what I'm trying to say here is, I may not quote you no scripture today. Because, you see, <laughs> I, 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 I've come to the place where it doesn't matter how many hours I spend in, in preparing for to preach God, the, the word of God. I get, I get behind the pulpit, pick up the microphone, and it's, it's not about what I've even studied. It's about what the Holy Spirit want to give to his people. Beloved, I don't know what you are doing to propagate the gospel. You, you are saved. You, you are called. You, you are sent to make disciples. Christians, your brothers and sisters in other areas are died. They have been killed. For what they believe. Oh, you live in a country where security is very tight. Is that what you think? Is that what you think? You have no idea. Rise up. All I want to say to you is obey what Jesus has said. Well, Pastor, what did, where, where, where did Jesus say this and all that? And you are so, you know, all this, you, you are so. Come with me to Matthew, the 28th chapter. And if you want to know the truth, that is not even the scripture that I've made notes to talk to you about today and that's one of the things i'm talking to you about matthew 28 is not even even on in my notes for to, for today come to matthew 28 the last chapter of matthew and i believe you are sitting there you've heard about what is what we what what is called the great commission i, I know you've heard about that before right Nana, I bless you. Hey, Nana, you call me, all right? Yesterday, I missed your call. Call me back. I called you, but you didn't answer. You've heard about that before, right? You've heard about the Great Commission. You know what that is? You know what that Great Commission is? Come to me, come with me to uh, Matthew, the 28th chapter, the last chapter of the book of Matthew. If you don't know where it is, because you don't open your Bible, <laughs> it's after Malachi. The last book of the law in the Bible. Okay, it's after Malachi. Like somebody said, Malachi. It's after Malachi. After Malachi, you come to Matthew. Malachi. The end of the law, I call it the last book of the law. The law for which we are not living. Malachi. You come to Matthew, the 28th chapter. So you come to the end, after end of Malachi, you come to Matthew. And in Matthew, you come to the last page of Malachi. Which is chapter 28. Let me take you from verse... Um, 16. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain which Jesus has designated. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted that it was really him. Jesus came up and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me all. Now, this is after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. After the resurrection of Jesus. Now the Christ. <laughs> Go, verse 19, therefore and make disciples of all the nations, 
go and make disciples of all the nations. Now, who was Jesus talking to? The disciples. The disciples. The disciples. The disciples. Those who have believed in him, those who have believed his teachings, those who have believed his gospel. Ah, you are not doing what Jesus have asked you to do because you don't believe his teachings and his gospel. Is that a radical statement? Yes, it is. Because the question is, are you, are you teaching and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ? Or you are preaching another gospel? Apostle Paul said something the other day. He says, curse be anybody who preach any other gospel. Except the gospel of Jesus Christ. Curse be that person. So I don't know which other gospel are you preaching. And I don't know which other gospel are you listening to. Now, if that person who is preaching any other gospel be a curse, then how about you, the listener? Go therefore. See, no. Oh, let me continue. Go therefore, verse 19. Go. Go. It didn't say sit. Go and make disciples. Of all the nations, listen to this very carefully. I'm reading from the standard amplified version. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Help the people to learn of me. They don't know me. You who have come to know me, you who must go and help the people to learn of me. Believe in me and obey my words. Go therefore, verse 19, look at it very carefully. I'm reading from the amplified, the standard amplified Bible. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. In brackets, help the people to learn of me. Believe in me. And obey my words. Baptizing them. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them. To observe everything. That I Jesus have commanded you. And lo I am with you always. Remaining with you perpetually, regardless of circumstances, and on every occasion, even to the end of age. Beloved, if you receive wrong preachings and teachings, you will believe wrong and you will live wrong. By the grace of God, eh? not in the form of braggadocios, being braggadocios, at least about 44 countries I have visited. 44. I still want to see more. 44 countries in the world I have visited. Let me say this. If you do not obey Jesus and teach people to learn of him or to know him, he's going to ask you a question. And um, I, I, I know I'm not, I'm not going to probably be standing next to you to hear what you say. But it is my prayer that you pick up, listen to me carefully, pick up your Bible, all right? 
and start reading all about Jesus. Start reading all about Jesus. Because some of you are still going to places that you are preached wrong and taught wrong. Your emotions are all stirred up, jacked up. And you think you, what you, whatever you are feeling that makes you tickle is what Christianity is about. The people who know what you have and that you are so ignorant of what you have are preparing to destroy you. I didn't come here to scare you, but that's the fact. It is the fact. If you do not believe me, let me lead you to do your own research. You know how to Google information, right? Those of you who live in America, go to the Library of Congress. And download this information yourself. Do your own research. And find out how many Christians have killed other religions. Or, relig or people of other religions. And find out how many Christians have died. Through the hands of other religions. And find out if what I just read to you is in your Bible as Jesus commanding his disciples, which obviously you call yourself one of them. Since you didn't know you were a disciple, disciple is a follower. Disciple is a follower. You've come to believe in somebody or something and therefore you ascribe to that thing, that vision and all that. You are a disciple of it. That's what it is. Or find the meaning of disciple. Since some of you are so religiously whatever that when you are called a disciple, oh, I'm not a disciple. And you say, you are, I'm a Christian. And see what your responsibility is. See what a respons your responsibility is. I am really not in too much interested in seeing the same people in church every day. Personally, I am interested. Because I want to know what... <clears throat> I remember it was the same France. I, I was there recently. I passed through there and... Uh, Engage the the, 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 the the church, one of the churches that engaged them, I think it was a Friday Friday service, engage them to go out over the weekend and make disciples. On Sunday I was sharing with with, um, uh, with my wife yes uh, yesterday I said the 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 uh, Vic was was just sharing with me later on that pastor hmm, you will not believe we went out there on saturday and the, the people they won't even listen to they were just going they are busy some of them that i said uh-huh uh-huh so that is why we need to spend time to do what jesus said we should do and then of course they were able to bring three people to church on sunday give their life to Jesus. But if you are going to be sitting in the same place every time the church doors are open, you are not doing. I mean, the, the day I saw this cartoon, it really, really did something to me. It's like, man, a cartoon of, of Jesus and Satan 
and they were communicating and satan says look at your people they say they love you but they rather obey me man that flipped me up they say they love you and interestingly jesus says if you love me keep my commandment and the commandments Jesus is giving here to, to Christians, besides, beloved, the title on you or the label on you as a Christian, you got it from you receiving and believing in Jesus. That's where you got that from. And he told you, Christian, Go and make disciple. You also go and tell others. Do you see what, what Jesus says here? He says, look at verse 19. Go, what time is it? Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations. So if you cannot go to all the nations, all right, physically, you can do that through the social media that we have today. When Jesus was talking about this, there was nothing like social media. This technology has not come this far. As I'm talking to you now, you may be where I am, in the state where I am, or in the country where I am, but there are people all over the world who are watching and listening to me. I'm there. I didn't buy a ticket to go there, but I'm there. I'm in their bedrooms. I'm in their hotel rooms. I'm in their living rooms. I'm in their workplaces. I'm in their kitchens. I'm in, I'm in, they are sitting somewhere with the, with the phone on it and they are looking at me. I'm everywhere. Jesus is saying, go and make disciples. Beloved, Christianity is not about dressing nice on Sunday to go to that building. Go and make disciples. I pray it doesn't hit your doorstep. Because what is really happening here, you may not be hearing it. You may not be hearing it. What is really happening, you may not be hearing it. Ah, because listen, I'm here now. It doesn't interest me about what anybody is looking like or how they're sounding or whatever they're doing it. But I'm here to let you know the truth of the matter. Because after this, I still go and rely on God to supply all my needs according to His riches. Jesus says, look at verse 19 of Matthew 28. Go and go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Make disciples. Yeah, because you are a disciple. You are a disciple. So go and reproduce. See, that is the, that is the characteristics of God. God made man and woman and he says, go reproduce after your kind. There should be a multiplication. Jesus demonstrated that too. There should be a multiplication. Other religions are multiplying faster than Christianity. And you think that I'm going to come sit down here and give you some other gospel? That will let you, that you've already been hearing it and feeling good and doing nothing. No, I'm here to let you get up, up from your lazy tokush and do what Jesus says you should do. And if you want to tune me out, please, listen, do you know, you don't need to listen to me. Other people are listening and I will continue Until I'm no longer on this on this on, on this social media. Interestingly, I was one of the people who didn't like it. But after getting the revelation, 
like Apostle Paul. Nobody taught me about using the social media to propagate the gospel. Nobody taught me that. By revelation, by revelation, I realized that this is bigger than just being on, so, on, on the social media, on the Facebook, or Twitter, or Periscope, or YouTube, or Instagram, and all that. This is bigger, and this is a wonderful tool to make disciples. I was sharing, um, um, chatting earlier with one, one of um, um, the listeners in, in, uh, um, in Jamaica, early morning in my time, that um, she's been observing that after the salvation um, invitation is made, after the broadcast, I tell people that whoever gave their life to the Lord, look in your geographic area and look for a Bible teaching, believing church or people and join them. Introduce yourself to them. And let them baptize you. Is that why do I do that? And why don't I tell people to, you know, I guess come to me and all that? <laughs> And I, I, I responded to her, I said, I am not the center of the gospel. Jesus is the center of the gospel. And um, it's not about having thousands of people sitting, coming to, you know, the, 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 the church building. That makes me look like, a, you know, a pastor doing something. And there are people who are outside the country in which I live in, like herself. She was communicating with me from Jamaica. Beloved, the whole thing is about Jesus. It's not about you. It's about Jesus and what he came to do for you and for humanity. And since he has done that for you, he says, you also go. And make disciples. Listen to what he's saying. He says go therefore make disciples of all the nations. Help the people. To learn of me. To learn of Jesus. Not of me. Patrick Wainu. It's not about me Patrick Wainu. It's about Jesus. The Christ. The Messiah. The anointed one. And he's anointed. It's not about me. I didn't die for nobody. It's about Jesus. As much as I refuse to die for you, I should go and die for you. Are you kidding me? My dying for you is propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the message of Jesus Christ, y'all, it's all about the salvation of man. It's about the salvation of man. When men come to believe right, do you think I can? I, I'm sitting down here. I'm plotting and planning how to go to, you know, some uh, church and 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 shoot people there, kill them. For, for worshiping or go to some uh, uh, gathering of uh, people and just kill them? Do you think that's what I'm planning? No. Because I have believed right to know that for God so love glory be to God for God so love the world and, and mankind he loved us that he sent his only begotten son Beloved, God could have just easily forgive the sins of man without sending Jesus Christ. He has the authority and the power to do that. But just so that men will physically, we will come to that, 
that know him. He did. So that whosoever will believe of that which he did will not perish but have everlasting life. Are you listening to me? Beloved, Christianity is not about Sometimes I'm just tempted to, to look at because I see a lot of stuff that it's like, do these people really get it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach it and preach it and teach it and preach it and teach it until this thing gets to the end of the earth and people will get it. Because you see, I have come to realize that when you have been taught wrong, it takes a long time for you to be detoxed. I, I was born and raised in a church that was, was pretty much all that they believed and did was from the law. The books of the law. We call it the Old Testament. I was born and raised from a church like that. So every... 99.9 of the things that was done there was all that. It's about the incenses and the candles and, um, and um, 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 you know, um, um, uh, uh, rubbing, uh, you know, oil on people and, and uh, pouring oil on people and, and um, you know, killing doves, you know, doves and all those Old Testament rituals. What today they have they brothelize it to call it. What do you call that? That word. Um, 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 directions. Today they've given in the you know a, a modern name. Directions. I was raised from a church a church like that. And and so you can imagine how I. Grew up believing certain things and things that was all wrong had nothing to do with my salvation through Jesus Christ. And a lot of people still believe that. And so I have come to the, 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 the full understanding that it's gonna take it's gonna take time. Listen, I know my, my work is cut out for me. I know that. I know my work is, my job is cut out for me. Now I understand why Paul got the revelation and he was sent primarily to the Gentiles. He was a Jew. But when he caught the revelation about the saving grace of Jesus Christ, Paul was assigned primarily to the Gentiles who were not part of the agreement of the law between the Jews and God so that they will come to understand the saving grace of Jesus Christ and you realize that Peter was more assigned to the Jews because he was also a Jew and with the revelation of the saving grace of Jesus Christ to, to educate the Jews for them to come to know the whole purpose of the coming of Christ. So I, I understand this, that my job is cut for me. That is going to take a minute for people to get it. Because even preachers, people are preaching some other gospels from pulpits and from this social media and all that. I listen to people and I realize that they haven't got it yet. They haven't gotten it yet. Of course, they love your face. They love the way you sound. They love the way you look. And so that catches the attention. And whatever wrong message you have presented to them and they, they get it and they're following it, but not really getting 
the true message of the salvation teachings of Jesus Christ. Believe in all kinds of belief. Now when you do this, how are you going to make disciples? When you don't receive the true teachings of Jesus, how are you going to go and make disciples? So that these people who have not believed, who have not believed right, and are plotting evil against you. If you don't get this message to them, how do they think that they are, Jesus came to die for them and therefore they have to believe right so that they don't think wrong to come and destroy you? Interestingly, I mean, interestingly how people are quick. And I used to, like I said, I used to believe wrong. We are quick to be, to just, just, ah, Satan is the devil, is some witch, it's a demon, it's quick. And most of the things has nothing to do with it. Nothing. It's your inability to understand who you are in Christ and what you ought to, ought to do. Amazing. I look back. I look back and I was like, wow, how many years have I believed wrong? How many years have I believed wrong? And I'm telling you, I mean, even, even today, every now and then something will happen and, you know, that old, old religious spirit that is hovering all over the place wants to just come in and we say, hey, get out. I am completing Jesus Christ. I'm completing Christ. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I am complete in Christ. I am complete in Christ. Jesus, listen to what Jesus says in verse 18 here. He says, and he said, Jesus came up and said to them, all authority, all, not some, underline that, all authority in brackets, all power of absolute rule in heaven specifically on and on earth has been given to me all and so if you don't believe that jesus has all the power and that you are complete in him you will believe that some other power have authority over you if you don't believe that and it's because you are not taught right you are not preached right. And therefore, you are believing wrong. And beloved, I will keep saying this. When you believe wrong, you cannot live right. When you believe wrong, when you believe wrong, you cannot live right. It's impossible. Absolutely impossible. First of all, you are believing wrong. You don't think you are complete, totally complete in Christ. You don't believe that. How do you then believe that the, the full authority of Jesus covers you? And so therefore, when you dream a dream that you see somebody chasing you or running after you, it's because some demon has authority and, and whatever. Listen, I get up and I, I refute all those nonsense. I was watching a movie the other day, a couple of days ago, some old movie, I forgot even the title already, but it was about this um, um, uh, naval, uh, naval officer who obviously is an eyewitness of something, um, something and then, you know, the, the security service were chasing him and he was running and, uh, was it Kevin Kessner? No, somebody, and was chasing him. And, and Do you know that a couple, couple uh, days later, I had a dream and seeing something similar to that, I, I got up and it, the, that spirit of religion was coming. And then, I, get out, I'm completing it. Immediately when I said, I am completing Christ Jesus, ah, the Holy Spirit just brought into my memory about that movie. I said, ah, that's what it is. 
it has it has accumulated in my subconscious and when i finally got some rest it was all playing back that's what it is beloved you we need to come to understanding this thing real it's not about how how some somebody is looking or, or how they sounding and all that get 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 the revelation of the word of God and do what Jesus is asked you to do do what Jesus is asked you to do Christianity is is literally diminishing in Europe right now go and check it I'm telling you go and check it I mean Christianity is just and you think it's a wave that is coming beloved it's a wave you better get up you better rise up you better take your rightful place as a disciple of Jesus Christ and go and make disciples go and make disciples because soon and soon and very soon I'm serious is God no who should go and make disciples and you have to sit down and uh, on your tokush and 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 say oh I'm a, I'm a Christian and all it's gonna hit your doorstep it's gonna hit it's a wave and when it hits your doorstep oh I know you'll be quick you'll be quick to accuse the devil Oh, Satan has said it, uh, Satan and then you stop you start praying prayers that has no effect no power nothing in it the other day I was saying I was saying to uh, uh, the, uh, this the this gentleman I was talking to to him about um, he said me uh, you know uh, I think it was this past Sunday there was <laughs> there was a disaster in his country and uh, he sent me a video of it and, uh, and I said listen he says, but we are praying. I said, praying. You know, when you have been taught wrong and preached wrong, you believe wrong. And so all you are believing is that everything, you have to just get up and pray. And most of the time, you are praying with no understanding. Sometimes the noise you hear, you wonder, is that prayer? And I used to be, I'm telling you, I used to be there. It, I look back and I'm saying, is that prayer or is that noise? Nonsense. Yes, it is. Because I used to be there. I remember this guy was talking about, man, we prayed and, I mean, your, your ribs even hurt. Eh? All that for God to hear the prayer. And you realize that you've been praying and praying. It's almost like every 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 little ache you take some painkiller. You've come to the place where you realize that that painkiller don't work anymore. That is what is happening to that country. I told him. That's what's happening. It's like you the painkiller don't work anymore because that's all you knew. Why? Because. All you knew was for be, for you to believe wrong because you were receiving wrong messages and wrong preachings. And so now, the prayer don't work because which God are you praying to? That doesn't hear prayer. Because the, the God we serve, He is not a dead God and He's not deaf. He hears. The problem is not God. The problem is you. One, first of all, you are not reading, reading the, the, the scriptures. You are not reading. Because when you read the word of God, God speaks to you. He is the word. So he reveals himself to you through his word. 
But if all you go to do is to go and listen to somebody to preach to you, to somebody to holler at you, to somebody to scream at you, to somebody to, uh, to show some antics, and uh, you, you, you all glow, and you are happy, and all that. You don't have no relationship with God for him to talk to you. So all you do, it's a one-way business. You are only praying, 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 praying. And you are not al allowing the, the person you are, you are talking to God through what you call prayer. But when you read his word, he talks to you. You don't allow God to talk to you. You are bec you, It's one way thing for you. And beloved, it's not a one way street. And beloved, God don't speak to you all the time through people. God does not speak to you through people all the time. First of all, your relationship must be with God, not with a person. I'm going beyond, beyond my time today. I'm going to go until, because I have some time today. I'm going to go until, and if you are tired of listening to me, leave. God wants his relationship with you. That is why he sent his son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved, I believe you heard that before. If you have not seen it in your Bible, since you don't read it, you've heard it somewhere before, that for God so loved the world in which you live in, that he sent his only, only begotten son. You can't even give your only time you have to God. But he loved you that he sent his only begotten son. Now the issue here is, whosoever believe on him, you will not perish but have everlasting life. Now his son, Jesus, said this to you. You who have come to believe him. And you have come to believe him. <laughs> and I'm repeating, you have come to believe him. He said, you go and make disciples. Teach people, he says. Go and make disciples of all the nations. How do you make the disciples? He says, help the people to learn of me. Help the people to learn of me. Believe in me and obey my words. Help the people. <laughs> Petrina says, if you don't know his word, how would you know God and his son? Well, go figure. Go figure. We are, be we, are, we are believing in people more than believing in Jesus Christ. And he is the one who died for you. And he is the one who, who died to save you from your from eternal damnation and guilt and condemnation and shed his blood. I mean, who has shed his blood or her blood for you? longer I'm less interested in all those business anymore because you know what I, I I believed wrong because of wrong preachings and teachings so I thought that all those things were, were, were it's what makes you know Christian or for you to see that you are doing something for God and and all this and you are going here and you are going there and you are going and everything you know unless some I oh, no, you are there and then you are here and then you are there you, you think that's what it that's what Christianity is about how about all those things you have been receiving? When are you going to just let it go to work? When? When? You've been receiving and receiving and receiving and receiving and receiving. You even leave what you have to do and be following somebody. When are you going to? Now you realize that if you've been watching, you realize that this this broadcast is 
doesn't have that thousands of views and yeah because you you don't get the true message to just attract it takes a while and i understand that by the grace of god because it's not about me it's about jesus and what he has done for you and what he is asking of you to also do and he says if you love me if you love me if you love me the other day he was he was asking peter the same thing peter if you do you love me peter do you love me peter do you love me peter says yes i do he says okay feed my sheep feed feed the people with what with my word my teachings of salvation my teachings tell them not to worry about what they are going to eat what they are going to wear where they are going to sleep because because when they seek first the things of me and to understand their righteousness through me all other things that they're looking for will be added to them all other things peter do you love me he says yes i do he says tend to my sheep the third time or so peter now get angry he says oh lord you know you know everything ah jesus hit a point jesus hit the nerve jesus want to know what is truly in your heart do you love me he says do you love me he says teach the people help the people to learn of me believe in me and obey me obey my words baptize them in the name of the father the son of the holy spirit ah i know your pastor didn't tell you that you can also baptize you thought the baptism is only for pastors to do, huh? When you have made a disciple, he said, baptize them. Can anybody show me anywhere is where only pastors have to baptize? He says, baptize them. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look at verse 20. He says, teach them to observe everything that I have commanded you everything not some things everything and lo i am with you always do you believe jesus is with you always do you he says remaining with you perpetually regardless of circumstances there are some like i said you go through a circumstance what i call your 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 pruning time ah the first thing you think of is a demon because you've been taught wrong that's the way you've been taught first thing you think of is a demon if you go through a pruning time now what has demons got to do with pruning what has demons got to do with pruning when you see the trees ask them the trees that sometimes you see, I mean, you see it's so beautiful. Some of us who live in, in places where um, we go through, um, you know, fall and spring and all that. I mean, right now, we, I believe we're just about to enter into a springtime. I mean, the flowers that were faded, they, were, they went, they, they dry up looking very nasty and all that just a couple months ago are coming up so beautiful. So beautiful. It looks like, I mean, the scent of the flowers. I mean, where I am, there's a bladder. It's so beautiful. It smells so good. Ask them, was it about demons? When they were going through the branches, when they were going through their, their pruning time, was it about demons? No. Naturally, they understand that they have to go through pruning time so that they come out beautiful and beautiful and more beautiful but because you've been taught wrong 
and preached wrong with wrong messages that is centered on that individuals and whatever the ministry is and not on Jesus Christ you've come to believe wrong and so immediately like Jesus he says here yeah, regardless of circumstances whatever whenever you're going through a circumstance a pruning time quick is a demon and you have to bind and loose <laughs> You have to bind and lose. Beloved, there's nothing wrong with anything that I'm saying. But if you lack the understanding, if you lack the understanding, let me give you a picture of those who lack understanding. Remember the story about the uh, the wedding and uh, those ladies who, who, who had oils, those who lit theirs early, when the, the actual wedding took place, they didn't have nothing, no oil in their stuff, in their lamps. Ah, that's what it is. You shoot rough, rough you, you waste all your bullets. So when the, the, the actual war starts, you have no ammunition to use. Because every second you are out binding and losing. Every second is a demon. And immediately your mind goes on a demon because of you not understanding that you are going through. Listen, as long as you are a human being, David, David said the other day, he says, problems comes only to them that are living. Problems. And if you don't want a problem, then die. But as long as you are living, problems will come to you. Paul said the other day the same word. He says, he says, we said we, we were burdened beyond measure. We felt like the sentence of death was even passed on us. But we didn't have to trust in ourselves. But in God who raised the dead. But in God who raised the dead. You think problems doesn't have to come to you because you are Christian? That's another wrong teaching. Another wrong believing. Because, ah, you became Christian, so problems don't have to come to you. Beloved, as long as you are a Christian, you will go through. Listen, if you understand that you are a Christian, indicating that you are a branch connected to the vine by the name of Jesus, then as a branch, you will go through a pruning time, which is a circumstances in your life. But when you are going through that, you should be even be happy to know that, oh, you're going to come out. Because it doesn't last. It's a seasonal situation. It's seasonal. It doesn't last for long. But if you don't believe that, if you don't know that, and you receive a wrong teachings and, and preachings, and have all that you are hearing is centered on that individual you are listening to. And not Christ. How do you then say, isn't that something? Why don't you call yourself, uh, uh, um, uh, let's say, Patrick, a patrician? Why don't you call yourself a patrician? Since I am the one who is your Christ. Why don't you call yourself a patrician? But you call yourself a Christian. Meaning, indicating that you are a follower of the Christ. But how do you become a follower of the Christ and do not do what he says you should do? Now that beats my mind. Maybe you can explain it better to me. But that beats my mind. So you tell me. You tell me. Why don't you call yourself a patrician or George Sheen or whatever name you are following Sheen but you call yourself a Christian? A Christian is a follower of Christ. And we are more centered, people-centered than Christ-centered. So I was telling, I was telling Petrina, I said, it's not about me, it's about Christ. And in whom I have believed. And the one in whom I have believed says, I should go and make disciples. So that the saving knowledge they will come to the saving knowledge. 
Because beloved, if you don't get this in them, something else will get them. And that is what your real enemy is, since you don't know that. And that enemy is looking to destroy you. That enemy is looking to destroy you. And he's planning and he's coming. Because his job, his job. Do you do just get this 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 is what is I call common sense? Do you think? Do you think if the people around you, if the people around you, if they get the message of the salvation teachings of Jesus Christ, do you think they can think of plotting to kill you when you are in the church building having praise and worship? Do you think they can think about that? Because they will be part of you in that place. But since you are not going to teach the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you are you are all about some 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 self-centered, interesting things that makes you feel happy and all that. They are plotting to come and destroy you in the place of worship because they have not received. The salvation message of Jesus Christ. But some other message. That tells them. That you. Are an infidel. And that they should kill you. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. Okay, let me go. I have some time today. I'm just, I feel like I want to go on and on and on and on. But let me go. I hope you have received what, what, what I have to tell you. Your Christianity, it's not about going to church on Sunday. Dressing to showcase yourself like I am more important. Your Christianity is about going to make disciples. Going to make sure that other people learn about Jesus and why he died for you and for them. That is what your Christianity is about. If you don't do that, Soon and soon and very soon is gonna hit your doorstep because it's not a joke, it's been set on fire to destroy Christians. How many people died in Sri Lanka in the in the house of worship? How many people have died in the house of worship in places like Nigeria? In other places, I don't pray that it hits your home. But the reality of it is they have not received the salvation message of Jesus Christ. Beloved, you know what? I wish I could just tell every, every preacher and whoever, stop preaching any other message but the salvation message of Jesus Christ. Let the world get the salvation message of Jesus Christ. Let them come to believe right and all other things. All other things can be received. Because people ain't believing right. Why? Because they are not receiving the right message. And therefore, when you believe wrong, when you don't believe right, you cannot live right. These people are living on daily basis, planning and plotting how to destroy. Because they have not been taught right. They have not been preached right. They have not received the right message. 
It's about all other messages. I do not want any more. I, I am not even interested of any other message. I've had it all, preach it all myself. And learn from people that because I admired somebody and, and their antics and all that. It, I've come, I'm telling you, when I caught this revelation, I realized, oh boy, like, like, like Paul. Oh boy, like Paul. It's no longer me who lives. It's about Christ who lives in me. And that I might also teach, preach that which I have received. I was once lost, but now I see. It's all about Jesus. It's nothing, nothing. I don't care about it. I mean, the names, the names of people that I used to listen to, admire, and all that. Now, I, I see the same people listening to them and I realize what is coming out of their mouth. And if it wasn't by the grace in which I'm, I've come to understand and be exposed, I would still be in the same place thinking that my Christianity and my Christian walk was about that. But beloved, Jesus says, go and make disciples of all nations. Help the people to learn of me, not learn of you, but learn of him. To believe in him, not believe in you. And obey his words. And then baptize them. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And he says, teach them to observe everything that he, Jesus, has commanded you. Do you know what he's commanded you to do? Do you know? Do you know? If you don't know, go and look for it. Because when you read his word, he speaks to you. I, I I had Galatians to talk to you about something else. But like I said, I allow the Holy Spirit to do what he wants to do. And this is what he's done. And I'm grateful. Interestingly, like I said, that uh, the, the, um, uh, uh, the technology that will let me be seen in other areas. Because I am using it. Because if I don't have the money to, to go and do, you know, fly somewhere to do a crusade, oh, there are places you can't even go and do an open cru crusade, like India. I was in India the other day. They couldn't even let me speak outside. Go and look for yourself. They will arrest you and put you, you're behind in jail. Why? Because, huh, we don't need Jesus. Really. Places you can't even go and mention the name of Jesus. And you are you are you are lifting up your shoulders that I, 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 I'm a Christian. I, I'm a Christian, and, and and I'm a you are a Christian. Get your behind to the world, to the nations. That's what Jesus says. Go, go. You are no longer a follower. You are a go. You so supposed to go. You think there are some selected people that those are the only people who was Jesus talking to only a selected people? You are part of. He says, "Go, you have received. Go and make disciples. Go." Some of you, you can even even, I mean, you can speak better than your pastors. Some of you, you can speak better. Than your so called pastors and leaders and all that. Go! You have been empowered. Some of you, you can talk better. Some of you look better than your so called pastors.
People are looking to see your face on, in the, on the social media. Get up. It's not only on Sundays that you got to put on the lipstick and all that to go and, and put on that weave or wig and whatever to go and showcase. Get up. Put it on. Get your phone, your phones or your iPad. Look in the camera and speak to the world about the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Talk to them. Tell somebody. Somebody is watching. The same people who are plotting an evil to come and destroy you, they are using the same media, same technology to plan. Think. The time has come. Christianity is not, no, I mean, I'm telling you, I, uh, you have no, I, let me not say certain things. Let me get out of here. I pray that you will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus will do you good. Jesus will do you good, beloved. It's not about, listen, it's not about, hmm, it's not about destroying people so that you become a martyr. It's about loving people because God, God so loved the world, including you, that he sent his only, only begotten son to come and save you from eternal destruction. And as many as receive him, to them became the children of God. Do you want to become a child of God? Receive him today. Receive Jesus. Okay, so, so how do I do that? By receiving him in your heart. The Bible tells you when I in Roman, it says, if you believe him in, in your heart and you confess him with your mouth, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's all you have to do. Believe him in your heart. Receive him. Like you like you receive your, your, your children in your heart. You love them. Like you, you know, that your girlfriend. Oh, you, he, you know, it's like, oh, you, I, I love you. I love you so much with my heart. Oh, I, that's the same way. Receive Jesus. Love him in your heart. In your heart. Let him be the center person. Let him be centered in your heart. And then confess him with your mouth. That, yeah, you, I love you, Jesus. You are Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. The Bible says, that's it. You'll be saved. Saved from what? Eternal destruction. Your sins supernaturally been forgiven. That's Christianity. You don't need to work out to, you know, to be right in the sight of God and all that. Beloved, you don't have what it takes. No, you don't. Receive him today. Receive Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus. The only person who had the audacity to say, that no one goes to the Father except through me. No one. The, re the, the, the religion you are part of, can, has your leader say that? Can your leader say that? No. No one. Because that is the fact and it's the truth. No one goes to the Father except by me. Give your life to him. You will never be the same. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you will you will see and you will see your, your horizon open. You will see your 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 heaven open. You will see your environment change to attest that that indeed Jesus is Lord. Beloved, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that He is Lord. Nobody else. You better believe it now. Because when the time comes, you will still believe it. Believe it now. If you are that person, let me pray with you. I want to hold your hand wherever you are. 
I want to hold your hand and I'll pray with you together and, and ask Jesus to be your Lord and your Savior. You are ready? Let's do that. With your eye, if you, you can close your eyes so that no, if you, you don't get distracted. But if you think you're okay, maybe you are in your hotel room by yourself or you are in a, in a place by yourself that nobody can distract you or nothing. Well, you can look at me. Closing your eyes just so that you don't get distracted. The important thing is for you to receive him in your heart with unquestionable trust, undeniable belief that he is and you want to make him your Lord and Savior. Say, Lord Jesus, I have received this message and I am convinced that you are the Christ who died and was resurrected by God on the third day. I receive you into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior that from this very day until I die out of this world I do not will not confess anything else but you save me Jesus from this planned destruction save me Jesus from my enemies Save me, Jesus, from this destruction. From this day, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Receive me, Lord Jesus. Receive me. I believe that you have received me. And I thank you for receiving me. Write my name in your book. Remember me, Jesus. And let me also be a disciple that I can testify of you to the world. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Beloved, that's it. That's it. You, you have sincerely received Jesus in your heart. Amen. Now, the next thing I want you to do, as always, you know, because you may be in Sri Lanka right now, you may be in India, you may be in Pakistan, you may be in Africa, you may be in, in, in I mean, somewhere, England somewhere. Listen, I'm, I'm, mean, I'm not close to you physically to baptize you, which I would love to do. Are you listening? Which I would love to do. We'll be going to Israel soon, and uh, those who are going... Um, I will have the opportunity to baptize them in the River Jordan. Same you know, place where Jesus himself was baptized. Do you know Jesus was baptized? Yes, he was baptized. And that's why he says that, he says that baptize them. All right? Because he believes in baptism. What is baptism? Baptism, you know, brings you to, to a, a, a newness. Hallelujah. All right? You, you, you get yourself immersed in water to, to put the old away. And when you come out, glory be to God, everything becomes new. Are you listening? I, I, I wish I can be where you are to baptize you, but I look forward to doing that. But in the meantime, listen, again, look for in your geographic location where you live. Look for a Bible teaching, believing group of people or church, okay, or local assembly. Go there. Let them know that you, you are excited. You've given your life to Jesus. You've made him your Lord and your Savior. And you need to be baptized. They're going to baptize you. Oh, yeah, they understand. They will baptize you. And I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. Are you listening to me? Listen. Yeah, listen. There, there's a gift of baptism. There, there's a gift of baptism. Um, you're going to receive that as well. You're going to receive that gift. Amen. And so go and do that. But... Let me hear from you, all right? Let me hear from you. Um, yesterday, I had to, you know, um, uh, take a break to do something, uh, and so you couldn't see me, but usually from Monday through Friday, 10 o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time in the United States, uh, 9 Central, 2 p.m. in Africa, there somewhere, and all other places, wherever, just look at your calendar, I mean, your, your, your time, and connect with me, all right? 
you can connect with me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Periscope. Again, like behind the scene, like I said, they are working on, you know, synchronizing all this thing because we are updating some stuff. And so they have to do that. So hopefully, God willing, tomorrow, so those of you who were not able to catch me on a Twitter, the Periscope, um, the, uh, the YouTube, and all that, instantly, I believe that hope tomorrow, God, if Jesus don't show up tonight, all right, to he's coming. Oh yeah, well you better believe it. He, let me let me say the, the way everybody said. You better believe. You better believe. All right, he is coming. Amen. He is coming, and you better get yourself ready. He is coming. Are you ready to receive him when he comes? All right. So you have given your life to Jesus. I am so excited for you. Do what I've asked you to do. Go to that place. Introduce yourself to them, and they are going to take care of you. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Um, I, today I've gone um, over and above my time. It's all right. Okay. Once in a while, we get we get down like that. All right. But important thing here, as you a believer, as you a disciple, as you a Christian, make disciples. In other words, lead. Hear what Jesus says. Let people. Teach the people to learn of me and believe in him and let them obey his words. Teach them. Teach them of the salvation teachings and preachings of Jesus Christ. Jesus came to show, show us the fact that we are not able. And so he came to help us and lead us. Especially we who were Gentiles who were not part of the agreement of the law. Are you listening to me? And so we thank him for doing that. Teach others. Go and do that. And don't be sufficient and don't be okay with where you are. Do. Jesus says, if you love me, obey my commandment. And he says, go and make disciples. So go and do it. Use the social media. Everywhere. Twitter, whatever. Use it to do it. Somebody's life will be changed and those of you who can go to some of these um you know places where you know this group of people are destroying plan to do go may the anointing of god be increasing your life to go are you listening go and do that god bless you all right if you also oh, let me give you an opportunity if you want to be a financial um a blessing to this ministry all right financially so we can get more Bibles and send Bibles to people who are needing Bibles. All right. For those of you who gave your life to the Lord, get yourself a Bible. All right. So you can read and for God to speak to you. If you don't have one, please let us know. Okay. Let us know. Go to the website address of this ministry. Let us know. All right. There's a place says comment where you can comment and all that. Let us know. Okay. The, the, um, uh, the contact the contact for this ministry is um, the area code is nine plus plus one from outside the United States plus one nine one four two four six two four two one. Again, plus one nine one four two four six two four two one. If you are in the um, United States anywhere, plus, um, just one and the rest of the numbers. Okay. You can also um, uh, reach us through the website. Go to the website. It's um, www.patrickquenuministries.com. www. You see that today the crawler is not here and all that to give you all that information. So I'm reading it out for you. Are you listening? I pray tomorrow, God willing, it will be here. The crawler is, is off today. So again... Um, go to the website www.patrickquenuministries.com and um, click on your donate button. You can donate through your, pay, um, uh, your PayPal or if you want to use a cash app or Zelle app, the number associated or connected to that is 914-572-9816. Six. Be a, a financial support to this ministry and be a partner. Let me hear from you. The email address is icfm29 at gmail.com. 
let me hear from you i love to hear from you and i want us to connect and let us send share send this gospel together share it together all right in the meantime do me a favor just one favor share this broadcast it's been long today but it will be a blessing to somebody share it love it use it as a, a watch party i give you that permission to do that all right and uh, let me hear from you i love you there ain't nothing you can do about that in the meantime just get this you don't have no trouble all you need is your faith in god and in all thy getting get understanding see you same time